You swell up? I have. <laughs> You're allergic? No. Are you usually allergic to like mosquito bites or anything like that? It'll be all right. I don't feel like doing no introduction or nothing like that. Maybe I'll add one later. We'll see how this goes. Flipping for copperheads. Actually, we're flipping for milks potentially and timbers potentially, but we're not really targeting timbers. It's just it's just a possibility. And in the meantime, we're gonna see a ton of copperheads. So let's see how many copperheads we will find. Uh, I know there's one over here for a fact. There has to be. I'm sidekick. I know there's gonna be one under here. Skew! Copper mouth. It's actually very clean, very nice. It's got a little dirt on him. Oh, come on, focus right as I zoom in. It, 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 it. There we go. Get a little bit of that elliptical pupil, that stripe there. That means they're poisonous. You don't touch them. Anyways. I'm just kidding. All right, so we'll go ahead and put it back carefully. Why aren't you gonna flip that second tin? There's something under that second tin. No, nah, I don't feel it. There ain't nothing under that second tin. I don't feel it. But there's gonna be another copperhead under, not here, but under, yeah. Ooh, he's moving. Look, he's coming out that hole. A little bit darker than the last one. Still kind of has a yellow tail, surprisingly. Yeah, it's that other one did too. Like a very slight tint of green still, but it was huh. lamb and tails. Lamb and tail can torture. Do you see those two black dots on the back of their head? Those are eyeballs. Right. All right, no more playing around. No idea. So just stay tuned There's for shit. each play. <laughs> Nail in a game. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you count the red on black. All right, stay tuned. Yeah, me wide open. Yeah, me wide open. Yeah. Got my finger a little bit. Gotta be careful when doing the stuff. So a few copperheads so far, uh, a couple ground skinks, but we left those out because we've all seen some ground skinks, but. This is in sit too. We just flipped these little copperheads. This one's small, especially this one right here. Cute. Cute little copperheads. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Watch it doesn't chase you now. I mean, your feet are right there. So small, I can't even get out of here. That one's bands are a little more like distributed. This one? Yeah, like or spaced yeah. out, however you would say it. I like that little baby. I do too, yeah, he's, he's pretty. He's very pretty. They're both very pretty. Especially him. <laughs> Still working on some tin. We found this little dead snake. It's only, it's just dead enough for us to not be able to identify it, unfortunately. We found some snake skin too. We also found this. Another Cooper hood. A little bit more orangey something. I don't know. But, anyways, alright, we gotta keep flipping. So, copperhead number or whatever that is. You keep track. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so Justin is over there across the swamp. I am staying on the dry land because I got my little skateboarder vans on. Um, he's wearing more appropriate gear. Uh, they got a stack of tin over there. Oh, okay. So he's just gonna check, and if he sees something amazing, I'm tossing him the camera. Hopefully it doesn't hit the tree and go to blue, because then it's GG and you guys won't get to watch any of this. So if you're watching this, the camera did not get destroyed. You see one? A tiny. Oh man. I think my zoom feature can uh oh he ain't that small. I think my zoom feature can uh That's a dark. I can actually almost get it from here, dude. 
Little ring neck snake, dark face. <laughs> Don't worry about it. The color didn't come out, but I, I was able to zoom in enough where you could see the snake. Dear la danger, la booba, let's do. Alright, uh, yeah, we just put our hand like right next to this copperhead. So just always be careful where you put your hand right next to this copperhead. <laughs> So. Oh jeez. The centipede trying to keep warm off of Nice. Good dinner right there, eh? Alright. Let you know if we'll find anything else. Moy copy head. Moy. Copy head. Well, it's nature, so I mean we didn't cause like, it. I put my hand right here to flip the log. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's a big one though. I yeah, so tell. he was flipping this log and this freaking, it was just in situ like that? Yeah. So, Let's see how big he actually anyways, is. Goes all the way to the other end of the tin. I'll, I'll hold this. Oh, what? Look at all of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said last time. More you copperhead. So I think this one's just very geriatric and old is the thing. Yeah, I really think, yeah, I really just think that that one's old, and here's like some newer copperheads, new and improved. Little foot shot. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So a really old copperhead, I presume. The grandpa and, you know, a bunch of family members that live with him rent-free. Yeah, I want to give him a meal. <laughs> so, yeah, nice healthy copperheads here, Contortrix. Okie doke. That's a pretty good size for it. Yeah. Right about here. Careful. <laughs> so we finally found something other than a copperhead. And we did see that one ring neck earlier from what you could see of it. But here's a nice little dark face. Decays brown. <clears throat> it's got a little bit of a reddish tint on him. Kind of like a red belly snake, but not a red belly. But decays. Good deal. Let's keep going. So I'm trying to get in situ for once. We didn't flip these at all yet, so we have no idea what's under these. Oh, sorry. This is my part. A bunch of lizards, a bunch of skinks, a bunch of ants. The worst side. Ribbons! Copperhead. Oh, copperhead? Oh, nice. Some, some ribbons over here. Huh? Yeah. yeah two. Ooh. It's an orange one. He's almost striped. Party. Almost a striper. Yeah, this fast. Not really, but I mean yes, but I think I hear those ribbons over here <laughs> moving. <laughs> or one of them. Let's move on. We're going to the board. And I'll only film it if we find something under it. So let's wait and see what else we find. Oh, that's pretty cool. Dan, check out that fishing spider. That's a pretty cool fishing spider. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Neurodia fasciata. Band of water snake. But check out that fishing spider. Dang. Oh, that's that boy. You're going to get bit. <laughs> ooh, 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 hissy. Ooh, hissy. Oh, ooh, hissy. Oh, hissy. Oh, hissy. Oh, wait, it's got a triangle head. Put it down. That rectangle <laughs> head. Ah. You want to go nowhere, buddy. <laughs> All right. Another ribbon. Left my phone in the car. GG. And he never saw a ribbon for the rest of the season. Boing. Boing. Something's running behind me. Okay, we're done. Yeah. Uh, so only one copperhead under this flip, but a damn good looking one. Very copperhead is it all? Nice little uh, banded water snake belly. 
Yeah, it's a really pretty little. Mm -hmm. I like you. I like All right, it's that. been a while since we actually seen anything. We've been doing a bunch of driving. We drove to another location, but here is another copper. A little orangey one. Hopefully that contrast is coming out, but... Alright, we're still looking here, so... That don't cut my wrist open. Yeah, let's move on. Everything started moving too quick. But there's one five line skink right there. There's one baby ribbon under here. Or, I mean, little bitty ribbon. Look at them. Look just like the five line skinks. There's a. Oh, there's another ribbon right here. Didn't even notice him. Another ribbon, and then there's another five line skink right there, too. They look very similar. There's just uh, was that the same ribbon just now, or did you come out that then? I don't know. A couple of ribbons and some five line skinks together oh, cool. over here, but I didn't flip these yet, I just flipped that one. So, probably some more ribbon. See, yep, ribbon right there. And a five line. Nice, I like that little one. Yeah, and a five line. Come back here. You got a very distinct white spot. And there's a five line skink. Right I'm to get the other one's always like a you don't see the other handful one? of wood. Yeah. Is he trying to bite? Yeah. He's gonna bite me. You swell up? I have. <laughs> You're allergic? No. Are you usually allergic to like mosquito bites or anything like that? No. <gasps> I put my thumb right freaking by it. Like it's about it's right there. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, and there's a uh, female five line. <laughs> Looks like a female. Unless it's a broadhead female. I'm not going to tell them the difference with the female broadheads and the uh, five lines. I but. assume you have no need for these. Whoopsie. <laughs> oh, he's watching. Put right you up. Let's put this back the way it was. <sighs> Moving right along, moving right along. Couple big slippery boys. Uh, <laughs> de la boopa les doot. Couple more Thamnophis under this uh, log. All the little things. Yeah. So I also just flip this tiny piece of wood and kind of little, uh, small snake. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> a little banded. Young banded. Check out the habit chat. <laughs> He's like, I bet you there's a hole under here. He lifts it and there's a hole and a snake. <laughs> just, just caught this green water. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nice. Not a you know shocking species, but just another species to add for today's list. Oh, first one of the day, first green water of the day. Cyclopean. Oh. Cool. The the yeah, we already checked under this board and we didn't see anything, but we just checked again and there's another banded water snake. Another Fasciata. Third one of the day, I believe. So we just cut that green water snake loose, uh, and now we found a banded water. There was a really big one going through the grass too, but we didn't get a hold of him. Uh, we didn't really care to try that hard, so we just let him go. But all right, so I just wanted to show that to you guys. Did you check this one? No, it's too Im it's too embedded in the ground. Oh, of course I don't get a snake. I never got a snake before. 
Let's see some D's, boy. Boom. That's what I'm talking about, boy. Uh, big Mississippi green. Mississippi green. You know. <laughs> Actually, this is the biggest one uh, both me and Justin has ever seen. Um, I didn't even think they could get this big. Uh, we did miss a couple other big boys. We missed a big diamondback uh, water snake that slipped away from us. But um, it's late afternoon, so it's a little hot and a little warm. And so we noticed quite a few snakes are basking out on our way back. So Mississippi Queen. It's so cool looking with the dirt. Usually they look like, you know, ugly because of the dirt. <laughs> But it was like gold. <laughs> That's how big this snake is. And now look how tiny this snake is. <laughs> Baby Fasciata. Rob Van Water say, Ooh, with an attitude, mister. Anyways, cool. So, I'm just including every single snake up today, regardless how common the species. So, uh, let's see what else we see. Yeah, well, he was he was tough to spot. Another Nerodia, and the most effort I've ever put into getting one, going through all of these thorns. Uh, just because it's a different species for today, uh, Diamondback. Now, not as big as one we'd like to hope to get a hold of. We're hoping to find a nice biggie. Uh, looks very similar to the other water snakes, but this one's the uh, Diamondback, Nerodia rhombifer. Close relative to the green. Two more Nerodia. <laughs> <laughs> this one's doing all the uh, spittle what laps. The hell? He's cartwheeled. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's doing the uh, spittle laps. I like that position. So, man. one nice orangey oh, looking diamondback. And Justin got bit up a little bit. And a uh, moderate size banded. A little juvenile uh, rhombifer. And a little fasciata here. Dark phase. All right, let that broadband go. I'll get a little bit more of this guy because he's just orange. He's really pretty. I wonder if he's gonna keep that coloration. Or... That would be awesome. Okay. Nice looking diamondback. Largest species of Nerodia, I believe, period. But of course, this is a little bitty. Dang it, by the time I was, uh, I was trying to catch him in action, but he's, he was scaring him downhill and I wide received this uh, broadband. A lot of snakes basking. We just missed one too, a really big broadband somewhere over there. Uh, he stopped moving, so I lost him. But we don't care. We're, we're moving along. We've still got plenty of broadbands and other cool stuff to see here in just a minute. So, here you go. Maybe we can get like in situation. <laughs> Oops, snake right here. You passed up, dude. <laughs> it's a uh, decent sized diamondback. Healthier looking condition. Okay, you got him. Yeah. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> Whatever. Whoever's got it. He's healthy looking and he's a little bigger. <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> That's another point for moi.